Hello friends! Well, I have a really nice treat for you today. How many of you like kettle corn when you go to the fair? This is the best way you can make kettle corn at home and it's super easy. Watch. So today we're going to use canola oil. Coconut oil is really the best. Canola oil, second on the list. And you can also use vegetable oil if you want. But these have a very high heat rating, the canola and the coconut oil. So we're just going to put some on the bottom of the pan like that. We're going to heat the pan up now and I have the heating setting on this pan on 400. Now this is an old non-stick wok. I've had it quite a while and I, I cook a lot of stuff in it. It's really fun to use. So what we're going to do first off, I have the heat on. We're just going to throw two or three kernels in there until it gets hot enough to pop. Then you know the oil's hot enough. Okay, we got a couple poppers going on here. So now what we're going to do is put the other popcorn in. There's a quarter cup of popcorn there. Okay. Make sure they're all covered. And we're going to put a tiny coating. I like to use brown sugar. You can use white sugar or brown sugar. The brown sugar it gives you a little more caramely thing going on, but white sugar is just fine. And then now we're going to cover this up and let them pop. <clears throat> the heat will melt the sugar and popping it will mix it all up. So we're just going to let it pop for a while and listen until the sound is stopped popping. It takes about three to five minutes to finish this deal. So you can hear it popping. It's going good now. Okay, we're about done here. Just going to give it a little stir. See, I left it in there a little long. Some of the bottom ones got a little brown, but for the most part, they came out really good. And you can see they're sticky. So they have the sugar on them. That's going to be good. You can eat it like that if you just like it sweet, or you can add a little salt. I like to add a little salty garlic stuff on there sometimes. Anyway, very easy way to make your own kettle corn or caramel corn at home. So I hope you enjoy this little trick I showed you here today, and you all have a good one. This is Big Ron signing off. Thank you.